Hello guys, this video is about Yabla settings filters, uh, which is one of the most important tabs uh, for you to, to go over before you start working with our monitor. Uh, so let's see. Um, basically, we, we only have um, filters for Amazon, AliExpress and Walmart at the moment. All the other uh, US suppliers, uh, you, uh, you don't need to set uh, filters for. Okay, so let's see for Amazon, we have a few filters. We have the seller shipping time. Uh, most of the buyers usually work with the first one, some work with the second one. Uh, and to, to close it, you need, you need to click here again. And we have the seller feedback. Um, of course, on top you have the highest. Pay attention that here you have also the just launched. Uh, which might interest you because most of the um, uh, new, uh, some sometimes uh, uh, competitive items since they're, they are new might be from just launched sellers. Uh, and if you are working with FBA, meaning you have this checkbox checked, um, you certainly may allow yourself perhaps to work with the just launched uh, and feel rather safe with that. Um, th this will simply enlarge uh, the range of the items which pass your filters. Uh, here it's the minimum stock quantity in Amazon for protected. And here is the seller minimum feedback count, uh, which is if you work with FBA, you can uh, set uh, to, to, a, to a rather low number. And if you choose to work with so-called third party sellers, uh, you should put something like uh, something like more than 100, maybe 120. Uh, so it would look like this if you work with third party sellers. OK, and if you want to work with FBA, uh, which means fulfilled by Amazon, and it also includes, of course, SBA sold by Amazon, you can uh, leave it like this. Uh, and this one is um, to allow add-on items, which from time to time there is no option to purchase them in Amazon. Uh, at the moment there is. Um, on some eBay platforms there still is no option to, to purchase them. Uh, so if you want to filter them out, do not check this checkbox. So I'm closing this one. Here we have uh, almost the same filters for Amazon open box items for those of you who, who have subscribed to the open box feature. Um, and I'm explaining about those um, uh, in the open box uh, guide, which you can find in the help center. Basically, it's, it's practically the same. There, there's the seller shipping time, seller feedback. Uh, seller minimum uh, feedback count, uh, FBA or, or not, and uh, here is uh, the condition of the item. Like new, very good, good, or acceptable. Uh, that's it, basically. Uh, okay, now AliExpress. For AliExpress, we only have uh, shipping companies as filter. Uh, if you work only with ePacket, of course, leave it on ePacket only. Uh, in case you work with China Post Registered, you might as well want to, to uh, check at least on the other. Other it includes all the other shipping time, types, carriers, and companies which are not here on the list. So ba basically, if you don't want to, to work exclusively with ePacket only, you might just as well check all of them. Uh, the shipping price to US is added to your source price anyway. Um, so you are going to be protected if, even if the, the shipping cost is very expensive, for example, like uh, with DHL or FedEx. Okay. Um, so I would leave it here and I click it like this to close. And now I go to Walmart. We have the, the filter of a, which stock in Walmart do you want us to consider as in stock for you? Uh, do we want the status available or the limited supply? Uh, all last few items, which I don't recommend. Uh, and of course, the not available also I don't recommend. The first one only is the most recommended one. Um, minimum stock quantity in Walmart, you should put at least 10. Um, and sold by Walmart or not. Walmart uh, as a chain have inside them also third party sellers. If you're just a beginner, you might want to, to choose to go only for sold by Walmart items um, and maybe consider the third party sellers, sellers later. 
So that's it, guys. Good luck. And we are, uh, don't forget to save with the button here. Uh, and we are available on our chat here on the support on chat. Thank you.